Welcome back guys, thanks so much for joining me and today we're going to be really opening up this whole body, finding strength, finding flow and also working through primal movement. To get started we're going to come to the centre of the mat, taking a moment to breathe deeply and get centred. Take a deep breath in, sweep the arms up high to the sky, inhaling, pressing the palms together, drawing all that energy down to heart centre, exhaling. Take a moment to bow your head and to breathe deeply in through the nose, sighing the breath out, allow yourself to release those shoulders, softening down into the hips and into the heels, grounding the body. Deep breath in and sigh that breath out. Just allow the body to release and let go of any tension as we start this practice today. Another round of breath here. And inhale to rise as we reach the arms up high to the sky, sweeping the body over to the right hand side. And then inhale, rise. Exhale, release over to the left. Really finding that engagement into the core as we rise. Inhale, exhale, swan dive down. Take the hands down to the floor and sweep the arms up high to the sky. Sweeping the arms all the way back down again. Inhale, rise. Big stretch, full body stretch. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, soften into chair pose. Keeping the body strong, inhaling, and now exhale, sweep the body down, forward fold, inhale, rise, chair, exhale, release, forward fold, inhale, rise, back up into chair, exhale, release, forward fold, deep breath in, Rise, coming up into chair, hold, keep that body strong, inhaling, and exhale, forward fold, inhale, half lift, lengthening through the back, exhale, release, forward fold, deep breath in, lift up through the back, and then exhale, gently release all the way down. From here, step the left leg out to the side and inhale, rise with the right arm, finding that twist and then release. Come back to centre, taking the feet in and taking the right foot to the outside, sweeping the body over to the right, lifting the left arm up high to the sky. Exhale, release, come back to centre. Inhaling, take the left leg behind the right like a curtsy, taking your left arm out to the side, right arm up high to the sky, finding this deep stretch into the hips. And then take the hands to the top of your mat, and as you do so, rotate through, lifting up the right leg off the floor. Inhaling, spin round, coming up and out, coming into our triangle pose or half tree pose. Inhaling. And if you can, exhale, release that leg up high to the sky. Deep breath in, looking down to the hand or looking up to the top hand. From here, step the right leg forward and with the lunge, twisted lunge, grounding the left hand down. Inhaling, exhale, ground the hands down. And then from here, opening up the back leg, coming into side angle. Inhale, exhale, rise. Inhaling into warrior two. Exhale, inhale, reverse your warrior, deep breath in and exhale, take the hands back to the top of the mat, coming into lizard lunge, inhaling, coming down onto the forearms if you have that available, otherwise staying into the hands is fine, inhale, and then as you exhale, sink the back knee down, ground the left hand down, reach over with your right arm for the back foot, inhaling, looking over your right shoulder. Deep breath in, exhale, release, ground the hands down, framing the foot, come forward into Chaturanga. Now hold here, take a moment, find that strength, draw the core in, deep breath in, draw the body up into Cobra and then exhale, release, coming up and out into Down Dog. Deep breath in, 
Inhale, draw that left leg up high to the sky, step it to the outside of the mat and coming into our straddle fold. Deep breath in, exhale, relax that head. Inhale, half lift and exhale. Slowly heel, toe the feet towards the centre of the mat again for me. And then from here, taking the right leg behind the left this time, finding that lovely little twist. Inhaling, opening up the hips, opening up the glutes. Exhale, take the hands to the back of the mat and scoot that leg underneath you. Left leg lifts, inhale. And then from here, we're going to exhale, ground the hands down, swivel round, taking that leg onto the top of the bottom leg, coming into that side tree pose, inhaling. Exhale. If you have it available, Pointing out the toe, inhaling and exhaling. Look to the top of the mat, step forward with the left leg, find the strength in the arms, right arm is grounded, left arm extends. And then from here, ground the left hand down, opening up into side angle, inhale and exhale. Great work. Inhale. As you exhale, ground the arms down to the floor, coming into our low lizard lunge, inhaling, exhaling. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, sink the back knee down, taking the left hand to the back leg this time. Inhale, opening up the chest, opening up the heart, looking up to the sky. Deep breath in and exhale. Another inhale. As you exhale, release the ground, the hands down to the ground, and then spin up into our warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And then from here, we're going to exhale, release, take the left hand ground down, right hand to the floor, coming into our plank position. Down into Chaturanga. Hold. Keep it strong here, engage those arms, pull the tummy in, lift the chest up as you inhale into cobra. Exhale, down dog. Great work. Take a moment here to breathe, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale. And exhale, rising up with the right leg, step it to the outside of the right hand, coming into our forward straddle fold. Inhaling and exhaling, really deepening into this fold. Inhale to half lift and then exhale, release. Great work. Keeping those toes turned in, heels facing out. Inhale and exhale. Releasing all the way down into that forward fold. And this time just shaking off the head, inhaling and exhaling now from here turn the toes out coming into our goddess pose so coming all the way up bending into the knees opening up the arms inhale and exhale from here we're going to take a twist with these arms so taking a little twist here to the right and then over to the left good deep breaths in exhale as you twist inhale as you come to center Exhale as you twist. Great work. Inhale. From here, let's lift the heel up, switching sides. So coming up into the toes, finding balance in one foot and then the other. Don't move the bottom. Just lift up both heels. Now keeping that bottom nice and low. Inhaling. Exhale. Extend the arms up high above you. Palms pressed together. Keep that strength in those inner thighs. Hands to heart center. Take a moment to breathe here, inhaling. As you exhale, take the left elbow to the left knee, opening up the side body, still staying on those toes, inhaling. And exhale, switch to the opposite side, exhale. Great work. Inhale, rise, reach your arms up high to the sky again, this time coming right up onto the tops of the toes, still staying on the toes, extending the arms out in front of you and releasing the heels down, heel toeing the feet back together, deep breath in, exhale, forward fold, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold. From here, sweep the arms back up high to the sky and take hands to heart centre. 
from here we're going to take a little curtsy so curtsy or a little shiva curtsy here as we take one leg behind the other inhaling as you rise exhaling as you sink down try and keep that back up as tall as you can as you work through this little curtsy inhaling and exhaling grounding the left hand grab to the floor right arm up to the sky keeping the back knee bent this time and then extending that leg out so really find that deep stretch inhale exhale ground the hands down in front of you extend the light legs behind you wide on the mat coming into a plank lift the right leg up off the floor hold Release, switch legs, lift the left leg up and hold, breathe, inhale, exhale, extend the right arm out in front of you and release, extend the left arm out in front of you, don't let those hips rock, release, bend into the knees, look ahead, jump forward, yogi squat, take the elbows inside the thighs, lifting the chest up tall, inhale, exhale, take a bind round your left leg, Inhale, looking up to the sky. If it's not available to you, of course, half bind is fine or just remain in your yogi squat. Deep breath in. Exhale, take it to the opposite side. You may find one side is a little bit more difficult than the other and that's fine. Always here to learn and grow. Inhaling and exhale. Well done. Ground the hands down, jump back. Take a deep breath in. Exhaling, coming into Chaturanga. Inhale, rise, cobra. And then exhale, release, down dog. Great work. Nice deep breath in. Scooping that belly in. Exhaling, reach the left leg up high to the sky. Take it to the top of your mat as we come back into a little forward fold. And then take the right leg behind the left now. So we're just moving into the opposite side now. Take the right hand down to the ground, left arm up high to the sky. And then if you can, you're going to extend that back leg. So we're straightening out that back leg. It's going to feel a little deeper, that stretch. Inhaling and exhaling. Take the hand up to the top of your mat. Take the feet behind you, coming to our plank again. But this time, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Draw the right knee up to the right armpit. Back down to the elbow. Up to the armpit. Down to the elbow. Up to the armpit. Down to the elbow. Last time. And then release. Switch sides left knee to left elbow and lift inhaling exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and release great work deep breath in bend into the knees jump it forward come back into our yogi squat elbows inside lift the chest up nice and tall so this time we're going to take the arm behind us so from here take a nice deep breath in Ground down as you reach back with the right arm and lift the chest up high to the sky, opening into this half wild thing, inhaling and exhaling. Deep breath in and as we exhale, we're going to come back round. So we're going to slowly release and take it behind us. This is more of a primal movement that we're moving into now here. So really, I say half wild thing, but it's a half back bend here, opening up. The arms opening up the hips, the chest, and still keeping those feet grounded. Exhale. From here, lower the bottom to the floor and then reach the knees over to one side, coming into a little twist, taking the arms out and then release and open up into the other side, taking the elbows out into our cactus arms. Windscreening the legs over to the other side and then release the head down. So coming into a little fold over the top of that front knee. Inhaling and exhale. Switch sides. Release. Same on the other side. And release. And now this time, release the body back. Extend your left leg up to the sky and bring the right foot just behind the back of the knee. We're going to sweep the body up into the shin, reaching forward. And then release, come all the way back, switching legs and coming up and out. So I'm just going to do this again. So we're taking left leg up, right leg behind, pressing up through the shin, reaching forward. And then we're going to take the right leg up, left leg behind and reach forward. This time we're going to find a gentle twist, opening up the back here. So switch sides, reach forward and then reach that left arm back, opening up that chest and then bring it back in. 
from here crossing the legs coming into a seated position now and forward fold take a moment to breathe here inhaling and exhaling inhale and exhale so we're really looking to open up these hips as much as possible and then we're going to switch the legs over just finding that crossover in the other side it always feels a little bit weird when it's sort of the wrong side for people but nice deep breath in really just see if you can relax into this find that depth into the hips inhaling and exhaling inhale slowly rise up now this time what i want you to do take the feet to the outsides of your mat and just open and close the body so you're going to be rolling the body all the way up see how far forward you can go between the legs and then reach it back opening up the hips finding that movement within the pelvis so we can move into our pancake stretch so reaching all the way back inhale move it all the way forward and then from here you want to maybe scoot the feet in a little more bringing the knees up a little higher. You can always adjust with your hands if you need to. So you're sliding the arms underneath and as you do, slide the feet forward and release the torso to the floor. Now don't worry if you don't get this far down, that's not important. Just find what you can manage today. Deep breath in and exhale it out. Inhaling. And exhaling. If any point this gets too uncomfortable, just come back into seated position. Inhaling. And for those who are down here, just really thinking of releasing the body as much as possible, maybe chin to the floor. And then slowly bring the arms back up, extend the legs up and out into Navasana. Inhaling. And exhaling, keeping that chest lifted. Inhale. And exhale. Cross the legs over, ground the hands down, come into the tabletop, opening up the back for cat. Deep breath in, lift the chest forward, roll the shoulders back for cow. Exhale, into cat, chin to chest, tucking those tailbones under. Inhale, lift the chest up. And exhale as you start to wind this practice down now. Inhaling, drawing the chest forward. And exhale, come to neutral. And then slowly release your body back into extended child's pose, knees out to the side, bum on the feet, and releasing the head forward, arms extended. Really think of grounding the bum to the heels, inhaling and exhaling. A couple more rounds of breath here. If you want and would prefer to, you can place the head on top of your hands with your elbows crossed, inhaling. And exhaling, really noticing that breath deepening into the ribs, expanding, slowing the breath down. Just taking that moment to completely relax the face, the shoulders and the whole body. Inhale. And exhale. Being so thankful for the movement and in your practice today, the strength within that practice, being a reminder to yourself, the strength that you have within you. Another deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to come up into more of a traditional child's pose now, knees together, arms behind us, releasing the forehead to the floor. So this little cocoon, a place of safety, a place to be you place to be thankful take a deep breath in sweep the arms up high to the sky placing the palms to heart center and bowing your head to your hands thanking yourself today for this practice thank you so much for joining me i really hope you've enjoyed this powerful flowy practice please do comment below let me know how you got on and don't forget to subscribe i look forward to seeing you again soon and i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Namaste.